Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, there is a message that's laid on my heart to give to you guys today. Uh, this message, I believe, is for somebody out there, or it could be for more than one person. Uh, you will know when you hear the message. But what I'm seeing a lot of is there's a lot of people on comments and emails and things like that that are th saying things similar to this. I don't feel like I can be used from God. I've done too many wrong things in my life. I'm struggling with something currently. I just don't feel like God can use me. I kind of feel like far away from God. And I wanted to encourage you today. I want everybody to look at all the people that God used in the Bible. All right. King, I'm, I'm going to list some of them. All right. Now, you guys can add in the comment section, you guys can add more people too. But look at all the people that God used mightily in his word and look at the mistakes that they made. All right. King David, for example, he had an affair and had his best friend killed. Jonah ran from God. Noah got drunk. Rahab was a prostitute. Elijah was suicidal. Peter denied Jesus three times. Lazarus was dead. The Samaritan woman was divorced. Samson disobeyed God and had his hair cut. And Samson was also, he was a womanizer. Martha worried about everything. Moses had a stuttering problem. Saul, or Paul, you know, persecuted the church. All right? He was even consenting unto the, de to the uh, death of Stephen. All right? Here's the bottom line. We all have a past. We all make mistakes. We all still sin. All right? We should sin less with the Holy Spirit indwelling us as new believers. We should have a new attitude, a hatred towards sin. Um, as the Holy Spirit works in our lives as believers. But God isn't looking for perfect people. None of us are perfect. He is looking for those who love him and want to be used by him for his purpose and for his glory. No matter how you have failed, no matter what you're failing at now, because we all struggle, all right? Um, no matter how weak and far from God you feel, he wants to use you right here, right now. Come as you are, you have been born for such a time as this. So we all have a past. My goodness, I'm disgusted when I think of my past. But every single one of us has done things in our life that we're not proud of. In all of us, no matter who you are watching this, right, we still have struggles. Every single one of us. Even when the Holy Spirit indwells us as believers, when we become a new creature in Christ... Right? And we're sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, and the Holy Spirit begins a work in us, like it says in Philippians, uh, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will complete it. He's going to finish it. Right? But we're, we're all in different areas of our walk. And I know there's a lot of people out there right now, they're struggling, they're, they feel like they're failing, that they're far away from God. But again, just reading through the Old Testament, look at all the people God used. And look at their checklist. Look at the mistakes they made. And their failures. It reminds me of what's recorded in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Look at what the Apostle Paul records. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So he says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. God wants to use you, no matter how broken you feel, no matter how weak you feel, no matter how far from God you feel, just go again, go read through his entire word, and you'll see in the Old Testament all the people that God used mightily. Look at their mistakes. I just listed a few of them. There's many more, and feel free to add to it. But these are all people God used mightily for his purpose and for his glory, and he wants to use you for his purpose and for his glory. So, Matt, so no matter how far you feel from God right now, whatever you're holding on to, maybe you're struggling because of, of something in your past. Uh, you feel like you've done too many wrong things. Well, welcome to the club. We all have. Right? But you're holding on to it. You're looking back. You're dwelling on it. Or maybe there's something you're struggling with right now. Well, whatever you're struggling with right now, give it to the Lord. Give it to Him. Cast all your care and anxiety on Him. If there's something in your life that shouldn't be there, give it to Him. 
ask for his help in removing those things. We're not going to be perfect until we're out of these bodies. We're in corrupted bodies. This corruption must put on incorruptible, incorrupted, incorruptible, excuse me. But come as you are. God wants to use you. We're in the final moments, folks. We're, and you were born for such a time as this. You could have been born at any other time in human history. But God has placed you here in this final generation for such a time as this. He wants to use you. He loves you. But stop holding on. Stop looking back and dwelling. May we all have the attitude of, of, like, of Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. Where it records this. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, here am I. Send me. May we all have that, this attitude. Say, Lord, I pray that you continue to use me as a vessel, as a mouthpiece for your purpose and for your glory. Folks, there's a whole world that's lost out there right now. And it's crazy around this world. People see something's going on. And God wants to use you. So whoever you are, it may be more than one person that this message is for. Stop dwelling. And stop looking at your current struggles. Give it to the Lord. Lay it at his feet. He loves you and he wants to use you mightily for his purpose and for his glory. But it's time, folks. It is time to rise up and plant seeds. Remember, we can't save anybody. All we can do is plant the seeds and let God provide, provide the increase in his timing. You can't force this upon anybody. But it's time to get, to get busy and tell people, rise up with me. Whatever you're holding on to, if, you're, if you're, you feel far from God, if you feel like he can't use you, again, his strength is made perfect in weakness. He wants to use you. You've been born for such a time as this. But we need to tell people, Give them the gospel of their salvation. Tell them that they can be saved right here, right now, this very moment. And give them the gospel of their salvation that Jesus died for their sins on that cross of Calvary. That he was buried and he resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Give them the gospel of their salvation right here and right now. Because we need people to get on that lifeboat, folks. Those lifeboats. Because this ship is sinking. But come as you are. If you're somebody, again, that's been feeling far from God, like he can't use you, my prayer is this, this message has encouraged you to rise up with me. We need to rise up and we need to give people the gospel of their salvation. Plant the seeds more than ever right now. Because time is shorter than many realize. God bless you all. Keep watching with me. Keep looking up. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he's coming. And he's coming quickly. God bless you all.